Hey everybody, I'm back. Something happened to my hair. I big chopped, kinda. Um, I wouldn't say it was a big chop, but it was definitely a chop. I have two completely different textures in my hair. I think this texture in the front is more like a four, and this texture in the back is a three. I'll try to get this. You kind of see that it's pretty thin. This is not thin. I got really tired of the scraggly ends on the top of my head. On the bottom, it wasn't that bad, but on the top, it was ridiculous. I had been transitioning for about 15 months, and uh, the other day I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm tired. I got a chop. So I chopped off about, oh my goodness, a good two inches here, maybe one over here. These are not even. Uh, and I cut maybe an inch in the back. It's still, you know, it's fairly long in the back, but it's not as long as it was before. Um, I had to do it. I, I had to do it. <laughs> Um, it was just getting to be too much. Uh, the styles I had were fine, but I just had too much scraggliness going on in the front. And I was like, I died, gotta cut it. I mean, I want my hair to be all one length, but this is very thick. And my, um, my relaxed ends were just... It was not working. It was not working at all. So I, I did a pretty good chop. My hair is hard right now and I'm hoping that that ends. Um, I don't know, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm semi liking it and then, then I'm not liking it. It'll grow, but I just, I had to get some of the ends off cause it was just ridiculous. But with the cutting, I realized that I, definitely have two textures and it's really weird looking this is thin and just curly and this is thick and i love this up here i wish this was like my whole head or this was my whole head uh it, the people that don't believe that you can have two textures i'm telling you right now you can and it's so weird to try to figure out how to blend the two textures together because i mean i've try to blend this stuff but oh man it just looks really odd so um i i like it i'm getting used to it i want to actually put some color in the front although i tried to put color right here like make it a lighter blonde <laughs> my hair said yeah right so I don't know, but I, I did a big enough chop to really make a big, huge difference. I don't have a lot of relaxed parts to my hair anymore. Um, so my big main concern right now is just to try to figure out how to blend these two textures because they are very, very different. But I like it overall. Um, yeah, I can still twist it up and put it back. Um, but I like it like this too, so... I tried to be a long-term transitioner. I was for 15 months. I think that is a long time. I wanted to make it a few years. I wanted to make it until everything was the same length, but I just, I couldn't do it with the scraggly ends anymore. It just was too much for me. So if you feel like you need to do a transition because you you got scraggly ends, I say go for it because, oh man. I mean, the, the, there's a difference now. My hair is, oh, is hard. I don't really like that. I'm going to have to get back into a routine and try to figure out what is going to soften my hair back up because it's just really hard right now. But I like the fact that right here it's very thick. I don't have the scraggly ends. I still have a little bit back here. I'm a little afraid to cut back here because this hair is... It's got to cover back here because it's so thin. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad I did it. But... From now on, it should be interesting to, to find out what I'm really working with, which is a little scary. But I'm glad I, I did a little bit of a chop. So, anybody has any questions, if, you, if this looks familiar to you, put some comments down there. Subscribe, because I will be um, 
looking at different products because what I was using before is just not doing it right now. I don't I don't know why. So I have to try to figure out what works for my hair and what'll soften it. I actually baggied today. I spritzed it with some water, aloe vera, panthenol, uh distilled water mix and uh I put in some mixed silk leave-in conditioner and I put in my oil which consists of coconut oil, olive oil, argan oil, castor oil and it doesn't seem like it's really making it any softer so I'm gonna have to try to figure out what softens my hair now so should be interesting so I'll do some reviews on stuff that I find that works for my hair I'm not sure if I have to do a protein treatment or what's going on with my hair right now but it might be in a little bit of shock because I cut off quite a bit of it so any suggestions for me or if this looks familiar to you and you're like hey that's my hair twin uh be sure to comment if you have anything that works for you and you want me to try it please uh leave a comment for me okay thanks